So the weekend is around the corner. Why not indulge a little bit this morning? Because we are going to show you how to make your very own homemade sausage roll recipe. But as we know, Moira, she always brings a bit of a little bit of a twist of our own. We're talking a Thai chicken and apricot filling. It's going to be delicious. Moira, lovely to have you in the kitchen. Hey, how are you? Look, I love a good sausage roll, eh? No, I do Even too. Even better if you can make it yourself. Yes, that's a trick. It's because yes. the ones in the shops are so boring, they don't put enough flavor in it. Yes. And I'm all about lots of flavor. And a little bit more wholesome. So yes. everything is about real ingredients going into the filling. Um, and Thai flavors are, you know, it's very much in. And people like to experiment with um, Vietnamese, Thai, Asian, yes. all types of flavors. So we put those into the sausage roll and it really goes very well. So if you say, you say kind of a, the Asian flavors right off the bat, I'm going to tell this is going to be one flavorful sausage roll. That's it. Oh. Okay, cool. So and where do we start? we're not using breadcrumbs, actually. So oh. some people use it as a binder. Yes. So we are going to use a ku chickpeas. And I've told you before that it's lots of lots of nutrition in there, lots of yes. protein. It just adds an extra nutrition into it, and it helps bind the, the okay. meat together. Interesting. So we are right. using chicken, but okay. you can use mince or beef or yeah. any, any lamb also goes well, love, depending on what your budget is. I love chicken is different. Yes. yes. All right. So into your food processor, you put your chicken. We are going to add the ku chickpeas. Obviously, they drained. Yep. And then we're going to add in the ku apricot halves. Now apricot goes really well with chicken and um, it gives a little bit of sweetness going yes. through and it goes well with the Thai flavours as well. And then we're going to add in an egg. Okay. And it helps also to bind it. Some salt, some garlic, fish oil, some fish sauce, sauce. some chilli. Just some chopped oh, chilli. Nice. All right. Um, I like to add in spring onion. You can leave yeah. it in, or you can add in your own little finely diced onion. But spring onion just gives it a little, a little bit more greenery and it, it gives it a lovely flavour, a lovely fresh flavour. And then we're going to add in some coriander. Okay. okay. And then the lastly, the red Thai curry paste. Oh, look at that. But once again, once, very, very fresh ingredients. Very fresh ingredients. Just want to make the difference. And yeah. just a, a little bit of coarse black pepper. And that's it. And then you're going to just pulse it together and until it's nice and smooth. You don't have to have it too smooth because you like to feel that texture yes. in it. But it must be smooth enough to, to be rolled into the puff pastry. All right. So we just pulse it. And there we go. And that's it. Is so that it? that's it. Easy. You can see how easy it is. You could do it a little bit more. I like the chunkiness of the fruit. Okay. All right. But I have some here in a bowl Perfect. already. All right. All right. So now, now it comes to making the actual, uh, the actual sausage. Am roll. I going to be nasty and make you make it? No, make it? no. All right, I'm, so I'm, I'm going to be good and I'm going to step back for this one. All right. So you've got your square of puff pastry. You okay. roll out in your puff pastry. So okay. I'm going to just cut it in half. You can make them according to what size you want to. All, All right. right. Um, so if you want cocktails, make cocktails. If you want nice big ones, then make big ones. All okay. Right. So you take a little bit of water and you just go around the pastry. This is going to help it to stick when you roll it over. Okay. And then we're going to use egg to egg wash it when we put it into I the see, oven. I see, I see, I see. Okay. okay. So, so let's then, see you make this guy. Correct. So here is my filling. We're going to put it down the middle. Okay. And then what you do, you pick up your pastry. You must just always be careful that you have put flour underneath it yes. so it doesn't so stick. so enough flour. Enough yeah. flour. But you can see, you stick it, I mean obviously it doesn't have to be perfect, but what it is, it creates your joint. So if you see on yes. a normal um, sausage roll, your joint is never on the side, it's not it's a Cornish bottom, pasty, yeah. it's at the bottom. Yes. Alright, and then you just flip it and it goes onto your baking tray. Easy as that, alright. And oh. then into the oven. And then into your oven. Obviously, I'm just showing you guys one, you would egg wash it. Yeah. Um, and you can cut this. If you wanted to make them smaller, you would cut yeah. it. I'm making a nice foot long, yeah? So you, you put your egg wash on and then we put it, because it's tar, you put a little bit of sesame seed on and bring yes. it all together. This goes into the oven for 20, 25 minutes Easy. on 180. Up until it's nice and brown. That's it, and the filling is nicely cooked as well. Well, if you want to get your hands on the recipe, very easy to make your very own homemade sausage roll. Uh, we're talking Thai chicken and apricot. SMS the keyword KU to 33728. That's KU to 33728. And we'll send you everything you need to know to make this delicious recipe. Remember, SMSs do cost one rand fifty. but here's one last look at how we made it. For chicken, KU apricots, garlic, KU chickpeas, spring onions, chili, Thai paste, fish sauce and egg into a food processor and process to combine. Fold in the coriander and seasoning. Roll pastry into oblong shape. Place filling onto pastry. Brush the edges with water and fold over, pressing down to seal. Snip small slits in the top of the sausage rolls. Brush with egg wash and sprinkle with sesame seeds. Bake for 15 minutes. For the dipping sauce, mix sweet chili sauce, cue apricots, soya sauce and coriander. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page 
or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword KU to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. And there you have it, delicious sausage rolls with a difference. That keyword once again, KU to 33728. So Moira, you just prepared a little dipping I sauce did. there. it's just a little dipping sauce, a sweet chilli sauce with some of the KU um, apricot halves to, um, finely chopped into it, some fresh coriander and some soy sauce, oh, as easy. easy as that. And it's delicious, really, really delicious. Oh, well, I think this whole meal is delicious, especially because it's kind of towards, leaning towards the Asian style of cooking Correct. as well. And, and um, it's really lovely if you've got friends coming around to do have made something homemade yeah. and something that's not just bought from the shop um, and you can make these in advance freeze them and then take them out and bake them yeah. as you would a normal um, one at home if you're buying the frozen pies and things like that man but they but look this good has got more flavor yeah i love it thank yeah. you so much coup to three three seven two eight sms that and we'll send you everything you need to know to make your very own sausage rolls at home but why don't you go ahead send us your tasty recipes to food at expressoshow.com you never know we could be making your recipe live on the show only the best cooks serve Koo because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Koo, you can trust you serving only the best.